Michael, a quick turnaround to Wrexham at home. What will preparations be like for that? Well, it's just rest and recovery. We've we've come to the Blunsdon House Hotel now uh, for the boys to do a gym and, and swimming session. So, um, yeah, there's not much we can do. We, uh, we've just got to wrap them up in cotton wool and make sure we're ready for what's going to be a very, very tough game against Wrexham. You know, we've got injuries, um, illnesses going through, but... You know, and we're doing the best with with what we got. And even though we lost yesterday, the players, you could see they they were trying and and working extremely hard. How important is that mentality, given the sort of injury difficulties and the run of results run at the minute? Well, look, it, we we all know about the injury, the injuries and and illnesses, um, and it's it's. There's no point in making excuses and and uh, feeling sorry for yourself, and they haven't to be fair. But it's tough. They um, they they're getting on with it, and we we go tomorrow. Uh, sorry, Boxing Day with um, hopefully refreshed couple back from injury, and um, we we have a a good game against the Wrexham team who are doing very well, but also in front of what's going to be a full house and. Something that I'm extremely excited to be in. And how important is that, obviously, with a quick turnaround in games, an opportunity to prove, you know, that we are capable of competing against these teams like Wrexham? Well, it's, we are capable. We're, I told you we'll beat anybody if we had a fully fit squad. We're, we're a match for anybody in this in this division, which we proved that earlier on in the season against Wrexham. So, um, look, at the moment, it's um, it's a tough period for us, but I'm sure that. Once we get to January, myself, Jamie and Russell, um, we'll get it right with, with the players that are brought into the football club. Where are we with the injuries and what's, what can you tell us about that? Well, nothing more than what I told you after the game, really. So um, we'll, we'll be making late calls on, on the day of the game. Obviously, following on from Trammy yesterday, what, what are your final thoughts on that? Well, the two goals we conceded weren't... They're not good enough from our perspective. Uh, it's you know all good work in um, as hard as we did, um, but then if if you don't close down or get close to somebody for a two yard a two yard run or a two meter run, then all that all that work is in vain because that's where it matters. When <clears throat> it's the little bits that that we've got to cut out and. Um, we haven't done that, and also as well, obviously seeing the seeing the penalty decision, two penalty decisions, because the one on George is, I feel, is one as well, um, and the disallowed goal just basically sums up exactly where we're at at the moment, where nothing is going for us, and they are very, very bad decisions. And now looking forward to Rex, and of course, it was a bit of a crazy five-all draw back at their place. So, what are you expecting from them on Boxing Day? Exactly the same. You know, we've already started watching their game yesterday against Newport. They scored from two long throws. Um, they got extreme, extremely gifted players. They got strength in in depth. They got an experienced manager. Um, they, you know, they're on the right track. They they've got ambitious owners who who are backing them. But look, we we are we're here. You know, we're. It's been good to sit down with Clem um, and meet him, you know, face to face. Um, and you know what? We're we're gonna try, we're gonna spoil their party on on Boxing Day. We're gonna try and do that and and give the the fans something to cheer about because, you know, it's all good saying that they got this money, they got that money, they got this player, they got that player. <clears throat> that doesn't always guarantee you success. And we got to stick together. And like I said, we'll do what we can with the tools we have available at, at this present moment. And of course, we are a good team, of course, and we are able to compete against teams like Rex and, you know, everything with them on side as well. Yeah, exactly. And like I said, it's for me, I'm, I'm looking forward to the, to hearing the crowd and, and the atmosphere around the place. Um, and that's how I've always remembered Swindon anyway, you know, big, big stadium, uh, good fan base. And, um, it's been like that from definitely since I've been here, but tomorrow, so I, I'm sorry, Boxing Day is going to be that extra bit special, I think. And let's finish on that, of course, a sell-out home crowd. How, <clears> how, <throat> how brilliant will that be on Boxing Day? 
it would be brilliant if we win. Um, but yeah, you know, look, I'm I'm the first. I'm I'm not here to to make excuses or anything. Are the results have they been good enough at the moment? No. Um, that performance yesterday was, you know, a bit better than the previous two. But I expect more from us. I expect more from us. I demand more from us. And, you know, um, I'm sure the players do. The players do themselves. And like I said, we, we're going through a sticky period. We need to stick together and we need to bring some reinforcements in in, in January, which, you know, I've sat down with Clem and, and, and Jamie and we're looking forward to doing that. 